even true that. With the release of Water and Waves, I had only one wish. It's to commit arson with a kid. Today, we'll be bringing Encore, a kid, and beat the living crowd of all these calamity level threats. Since Water and Waves is known to be notoriously hard, it only makes sense for me to not only use Encore alone against these bosses, but I'll also be doing that with a level 1 Encore. With no weapons, no echoes, nothing. Here are the rules. I have to beat all the world bosses with all the Encore. That's it. Now, let the suffering begin. I started by choosing the easiest boss to fight, in my opinion, which will be the monkey. Here's what we're dealing with. A level 1 Encore that dies on contact, damage that barely ever go over 2 digits, and a health bar that I have to whittle down pixel by pixel. This means I have to evade everything perfectly while slowly damaging the monkey with some gosh dang tiny sparkles. Every hit I take is my last. Every hit he takes is far from the last. And yeah, just like that, I think it's over, guys. What dumb idiot would do this shit? So I went ahead and memorized every possible hit pattern, and after only four hours, I managed to defeat the monkey. If you're wondering, this winning run minus all my previous tries took me 17 minutes. All I had to do was to keep evading left and right, up and down, run away when I need to, just don't get hit, I guess. And I had to repeat all that like a gosh dang anaerobic exercise that I cannot stop for 20 minutes. And at the end of it all, all that's left is... Well, I get it though. That felt kind of underwhelming, didn't it? To be honest, it is a relatively easy boss with only three different patterns to them, at least at level 45. I don't know if they get higher actually, but it's it's what I got to work with. But hey, give her some credit though. She basically had to perfectly evade for 17 minutes straight. Failure means instant death, which is honestly the hard part for me. Even if I memorize their patterns, which is not that difficult, right? I gotta execute perfectly for nearly 20 minutes. But I got no life, so I did that. Let's keep going. That is one boss down to world domination by a child. Next victim we got the mech abomination <laughs> It occurred to me that this mech abomination is pure nightmare feel. Firstly, he looks straight out of Finance of Freddy's. Secondly, he has more patterns than a monkey. Some I don't even know if it's perfectly available. I could take days to memorize the patterns and ultimately farm a perfect run with zero mistakes. Considering the average human attention span is a measly 8.25 seconds, I had to think realistically. There's no way I can win. At least not fairly. Here's the thing. Encore is a very unique mechanic where she can attack through obstacles at a fairly short range. I can abuse this. The idea is this. If I can find a boss between a rock, I can attack him with Encore while the rock shields me against the boss. Pretty simple, eh? But if you extrapolate the idea, you get this. <laughs> this is actually so dumb. An abomination that would easily tear Encore in half has found its own Achilles heel. And that is Altitude. Encore being on top of these conveniently placed beams on top of the boss can attack through the beam and reach the enemy on the other end. And since the boss has no way of reaching me or attack me, he just stands there. I'm almost certain this should be still too far away, but maybe only the horizontal distance matters and not the vertical. I don't know how I reached it, but I did. Oh well, I'm not questioning that. I felt so confident that I jumped down and hooray for some style points. Did. And there we go. We did it. Let one unquest defeated back abomination. Now, if you say I didn't actually beat the boss, well, I depleted his health bar. But I get it, though. You want to see this poor little level 1 kid fight the most horrific creatures in fear straight in their face. What is wrong with you? But on a real note, though, I'm taking that bad. I did beat the boss, and that's the video, right? However, I do feel too cheesy doing that, so let's actually beat the next target. Fair and square. Our next victim. The Tempest Memphis. This fight introduced a Minecraft Enderman having ass teleporting half invisible nightmare feel. Just to put this out there, the enemies actually look terrifying in this game. Like, God, you need a whole ass reincarnation where you look that ugly, though. No? This enemy feels the toughest so far because I can't cheese it even if I wanted to. He can teleport up to me at all times. That meant I have to fight him, although he's four times my height and two times my width. Though, if you come in with a built squad, this fight is easy. I mean, all of them are if you're not a level one encore, you know what I mean? He has mainly three patterns of attack, but what makes it true tricky is how he teleports all the time and moves abruptly. The situation is still the same as well as the monkey. One hit from the guy and I'm mostly gone. My hit on the guy doesn't do anything either. The only way I'm gonna win is evading perfectly every time for multiple tens of minutes. One mistake and I have to repeat the whole darn thing again. After over four hours of trying, I got his health bar to this point and then this. That run took me 13 minutes for me to just die like that. But I am a man of will. I am a man of determination. I will dominate Watering Waste's entire map with a level 1 Encore. Which is why...
<laughs> Three bosses dead to a level one Ikoi. And you know what? I don't know if you realize, but this actually takes a toll on me physically. After clicking for hours straight, I can feel my carpal tunnel doing a syndrome. So I said crud. I'm cheesing the boss if I can, dude. It is still a strategy, right? Next up, we have Crowless, a tutorial boss that looks like the main villain of any anime, but its arch nemesis, a kid behind a rock. <laughs> this is the actual embodiment of my initial plan. Just have an encore hide behind a rock and cook whoever's on the other end. And Crowless here can't seem to handle this ingenious plan. I guess you should take this as your tutorial, Mr. Crowd. You've got wings, dude. If you flap them, you kind of can't fly to me. But Mr. Brainless here couldn't do anything, so I just have to finish him with my encore ulti. Ah! Okay, let's not do that anymore. I retried one more time, and we did get him in the end. Crowless has been defeated. Uh, if you're wondering, both of those runs took about 20 minutes each. It's not a wise idea. Next on Encore's death list would be the Impermanent Herod. Well, luckily for you guys, there's no way to cheese the Herod. He actually flaps his wings a bunch, and I don't really have a good spot to perch on and throw fireworks at him. This is, in fact, one of the hardest enemies for this video, at least in my opinion, and I can only face him head first. There's no cheesing around with my measly less than 10 damage per hit. The problem with this guy is he has like six attack patterns, ranging from a slow wing swipe to a slightly faster wing swipe, a very fast wing swipe, slightly slower than a slightly faster wing swipe that covers into two other wing swipes. Considering they are all wing swipes, they kind of have similar body movement and you really have to pay attention to tell them apart. It'd be easy if I can just take a few hits, but no, one hit and I'm out. It'd also be easier if you can kill the boss in say five minutes after invading all the time, but with a level one encore, you need 20, 20 minutes of perfect evasion. And ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you, the Rod. With the hair on taken down, my encore is one step closer to world domination at level 1. I'm so tired at this point and done with this after the hair on took me 5 hours dead. But I need to own the top encore of all time. It is my calling. Either way, we see our next boss, which is probably one of the most unpredictable boss. The Lone Shadow. This guy is tricky with how he has a near map white laser beam, very slittery and abrupt attacks, and he kinda attacks a lot. This challenge looked way too daunting to me, but not enough to daunt my unyielding determination to solve this regarded creature of a level 1 pink kid. This is where I reveal to you the absolute final form of what you can wring out of a level 1 Encore. After scouring through every possibility available to me, it turns out, if you zoom your camera out, make sure the enemies around the top mid of your vision stand within the boss's territory while being perched high up somewhere, you can somehow, some way, just attack the boss with Vinecore, ignoring the distance fully. This is a lot farther than when I fought the Mag Abomination, which I assumed was the maximum range. I don't know why this is in the game, I don't know how I managed to find this out, but I bet only the top percent Encore players would know about this. You'd think the game is now over, right? I just gotta keep basic attacking till you die, but no. There is one slight issue. For whatever reason, this floating piece of pasta actually moves backwards after he does his laser beam move. He also happens to only use that move because he realizes everything else wouldn't hit me. Now, if he just look up and shoot that, I'd die, but thank god he doesn't do that. It'd actually be kind of cool if bosses can fully scale around a map or shoot on walls for added realism, but that's just me personally. My worry, however, if the boss moves out of my reach, or perhaps out of his own territory, would I not be able to hit him, or worse yet, would he just respawn with full health? I had no other way imaginable of beating this guy without losing my mind, hence I can only put this strategy to the test. The ultimate form of a level 1 Encore. Come on, you can't do it, man. Uh, so, <laughs> what do I do now? The boss moves so far away that I can't even see his HP bar anymore. Is he even taking damage now? Has this self already restored? I, I don't even know. All these questions whirling in my head. 
But what isn't whirling in the boss's head are brain cells, apparently, because he decided to go absolutely berserk near the end, hitting at air. But since I'm like 500 miles above him, all that accomplished for him was moving himself back to the middle, and I get to see the health bar now. Neat. 20 minutes in, we defeated the floating pasta. With five world bosses down, we're left with three. Which one has fusion damage resistance, so I do even less damage now. Another one is the same invisible Memphis guy earlier, but he has six attack patterns. The other one is underground, which I actually don't know how to get there. Maybe I need a higher level or something. And this is where I actually burn out. Mostly because I don't have enough time to do all of that, and I do have all kinds of stuff to do as well, right? I mean, if this video does well, perhaps I'll finish everything, including the dungeon boss fights. We'll see, though. But yes, Encore, unfortunately, I don't think you'll be beating everyone, at least in this video. You've beaten most of them, though. Well, since it's the beta anyway, let's just put a pin on this one. But you know what, Encore? I think you've done enough at level 1 to be called the world's strongest child in Wandering Waves. Maybe defeating the world bosses doesn't mean that much to most people, but you know what, man? You matter to me, you hear me? And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll probably cover more Wuwa content. I don't know yet. We'll see. But for now, take care.